In this video, I'm going to show you every resource to which you should be reaching out so you can discover, secure, and capitalize on grants for everyone. As you very well know, for those of you who have been watching my videos since I launched this series in December of 2020, where I went on my mission to hunt, discover, find grants for everyone, I have created a spreadsheet you can find at bit.ly slash biz ss21 where I've listed links to information resources and application portals to grants for everyone. The first spreadsheet on this spreadsheet is labeled grants where you can find grants for small businesses. If you take a look at the free education tab, you will find all kinds of resources where you can educate yourself. And this also constitute grants because you have to remember there are people in this country, millions of people in this country who go into hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt so they can formally educate themselves. So they can basically develop a career so they can become doctors, lawyers, engineers, so they can become computer programmers, marketing professionals. When look, if you take a look at the spreadsheet, first resource, how to perform search engine optimization. This is the Google starter guide on how to perform search engine optimization, which is simply the practice of you basically configuring a website so it has the best chance to appear for targeted keywords. So if you sell gaming tables, how do you configure your website? So it can have the keyword gaming tables in the proper HTML elements and also have links. How do you develop relationships with other webmasters, other people who have other websites, and how do they write about you and point citations back. Remember, it's a democratic process for you to rank for targeted queries of keywords on the major search engines, mainly Google. So you got Reddit Big SEO, where people go on there, they're very transparent, and they give you case studies on how they've been successful performing search engine optimization on their website, the Just Start subreddit, how to become an entrepreneur, Ahrefs blogs, Again, look, let's just skim through some of this stuff. Look, they got MIT free university classes, how to be a certified nursing assistant training program, access training, bilingual medical assistant training program, how to become a journalist, all these, look, cybersecurity free training. People go into hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt in order to get an equivalent amount of education. This is probably even better. Hot off the presses. Remember I told you about that Verizon Small Business Digital Ready Grant where you can qualify to apply for a grant of $10,000 in as little as one hour's time by watching a couple of training videos on internet marketing, how to finance your business, etc., etc. Watch my previous video. Well, Verizon just dropped a message in my inbox a couple of hours ago. Let's take a look. As a member of Verizon Small Business Digital Ready, you'll have access to a range of live learning events. So don't miss the next two Ask the Expert sessions this Friday, September 24th, access to Capital 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, driving more traffic to your website. A number of you have been asking me, how can I get more access to capital for my business? Right here, that's the answer for you. Free grants, as I told you, any source of free education is a form of a grant because you know how much formal education costs and you know how little it does for you at times. It did a lot for me. However, for some people, if they don't add all the pieces of the puzzle, they don't put it all together, such as the situation in which I was involved a couple of years ago where I had the technical skills to become a journalist, but I did not know how to sell myself then the formal education, the hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt does nothing for them. If you run a nonprofit, I've got resources for nonprofits. If you want to generate revenue through crypto, I'll get back to that shortly. I'm just going to skim through this so you can see all the ways that I classify grants and opportunities that I list for people all over the place. Look, if you want to file your LLC, if you remember time and time again, a number of you may be able, I could probably stop talking and you can go ahead and say what I'm about to say. That if you want to capitalize on grant opportunities and as much opportunity available in this country, you need to simply establish and perform the organized effort of selling something, which is defined as operating a small business. Remember, there are 31,678,432 right, 
small businesses in this country constituting a whopping 99.9% of all U.S. businesses employing half for the U.S. workforce. 60.6 .6 million U.S. workers to be exact. We cannot be ignored. And it's very simple for you to do. You don't need $10,000, you don't need even $1,000. I started my small business by educating myself on how I could provide value by marketing through the search engines and other online platforms, social media, other digital news networks, etc. And I was able to provide value for clients, for stakeholders and big brands, been able to work for the Nielsen organization, the 2012 Barack Obama presidential campaign, even worked on behalf of the Trump organization at one point before he got into the politics, AOL, Department of Defense collaborated with them. And look, and I got those skills practically free visiting forms, the, just visiting resources like the one that I list on the free education tab. And by then, you know, filing my LLC in 2010, all right, when, when Nielsen, the Nielsen company laid me off and I basically started my small business and all the, the only reason they laid me off was because the magazines, I made the magazines that they operated under their Nielsen business media flag. So valuable that they sold them right? Because I drove millions of unique visitors to those websites. Then when they sold them off, all those magazines, they hired me back. When they hired me back, I wanted to formalize everything. So I started, you know, I registered my LLC back in Florida. A number of you know the story and it's very simple to do. It only costs like a buck and change. If you already know how to provide value, this is it. Look, and this is not the key to you operating a successful small business. The only reason that my small business is still alive is because I know how to sell. Okay, so once you get into the practice, once you know how to sell things, you will never have a problem with money again. I promise you that. Believe me. Trust me. Okay? And again, for crypto, small business, for individuals, the education tab where you may have to pay for, you know, rental assistance, every single state. Look, from California to Texas to Florida, New York City, Washington, Indiana, and even U.S. territories. Guam, Northern Mariana Islands, Puerto Rico, all the resources for you to get emergency rental assistance, where do you get mortgage aid, homeless support, Department of States, because when I filed my LLC, I didn't even go through a service. I did it through the Department of State. Well, you could go directly to the Department of State. You don't have to file. You don't have to pay anybody a fee to do it. It only costs you like a buck and change for veterans, right? EIDL resources. I have these other resources. This whole thing is in development, man, okay? And one man, all right? And we'll just go through a couple of more resources just for you, just in case you need to tailor this query a little bit more down to your needs, okay? And listen, you wanna stay on top? Click the subscribe button and click the bell notification to stay on top of every grant and business opportunity and opportunities for individuals and for veterans, for disabled people. Click the subscribe button, click the like button, watch the video until the end. You want down payment assistance, hit FHA.com right here. They have all the resources right here. The Chinoa Fund, you know, for all these places in Chinoa. This, has, this lists resources for every place you want to go ahead and look for first-time home buyers. You go ahead and click here. They give you first-time home buyer grants and loan programs in all these places right here. Look, in Arkansas, in California, Colorado, Texas. What more do you want? Now, this is probably grants... 3 or 4.0. I told you about this a couple of videos ago, right? Uh, I told you about this when I downloaded ecosystem. Uh, now you're talking over me, dog. Relax. Past version of myself. Anyway, right here. This is the grant. Gitcoin grants round nine. I told you that I would donate to one of these campaigns. This is where people who develop online or escape, excuse me, blockchain oriented projects. They go ahead and put it up on grants on gitcoin.com slash grants right here, right? And you basically donate to this thing. I'm looking at the coin gecko page is the wrong page. I'll go ahead and discover that moment. Right here we go right here, right here. So this is a new grant program that they have right now. September 23rd from September 8th to September 23rd. So once you donate to any of these Fundraisers. This is similar to the GoFundMe. Remember, a number of people have been successful. A number of viewers have been successful in obtaining grants through GoFundMe where you raise more than $500, $500 or more from five different people and GoFundMe will give you a $500 grant for a total of a $1,000 grant. A number of you already have been able to capitalize after learning about it on this channel. Now, you donate to one of these grant programs using Ethereum ideally, then 
you can qualify for what's called airdrops. Airdrops are just another word for grants. They give it to you in cryptocurrency. This crypto is also worth United States dollars. Take a look right here. So I donated to grants to the Gitcoin grants round number nine. As a result, just through this wallet, all right, I donated about with fees and everything. Ethereum fees are crazy. Everything tallied up to some to an amount of about a buck 20 or so. And look, I got 36.82 GTC. This is a token released by Gitcoin. Gitcoin is operated by GitHub. This company's not going anywhere. Look, $300 million a year company right here. Take a look right here. 2,500 employees. They probably have a peanut butter grinder in their cafeteria and give you all your food for free, all right? So <laughs> founded in February 8th, 2008. A number, millions of developers, they use GitHub to collaborate on coding projects. It's not going anywhere. Anyone who wants to store their code, they can do so right on GitHub. And they're the ones who operate Gitcoin, okay? And there's a number, you can earn all kinds of money on Gitcoin, but there's like quests where you can learn about cryptocurrency. You need to start learning about this stuff. I mean, click the subscribe button and click the bell notification. The bell notification to stay on top of my findings. I'm just learning about this stuff myself. I'm no crypto guru myself. Nonetheless, I just showed you. I made, what, $36.82 in Gitcoin? No, $36.82 in Gitcoin, not dollars, in Gitcoin, in the Gitcoin token. Right now, the value of Gitcoin is at six, $7.28. So if you take $7.28 times 36.82 query, because I just performed it, that's $268. And it's been even more. I'm just holding it because GitHub is not going anywhere. So I'm pretty sure this thing is going up. Look how, how, how much this thing appreciated. This thing appreciated up to, you know, $14 at a peak in August 2021, you know, $13.89. That's just something I'm just holding in there. You know, I really don't look at, let's say it was at 14 bucks, right? Boom. At, point, at one point, it was $515 for a $100 investment. And, and I have another wallet through which I donated and I showed you on, if I'm not, if not this video, if I'm not mistaken, there's like two or three videos on this particular program right here. Look, there's another wallet that I, that I operate right here. 68.358 Gitcoin, which right now at the time of this video is worth $500, $495.69. You need to learn about this. Look, at the very least, do this. Again, I benefit, you also benefit nonetheless. You go to bit.ly slash rod, R-O-D, base, B-A-S-E, and it'll load up this page right here. This is my affiliate page, okay? Not financial advice, simply what I'm doing. I did it, I showed you on a couple of videos how I picked up a quick 30 bucks in crypto and I could change that for USD anytime I want. I just don't need to do it, so I'm not going to do it. I'm gonna let it just appreciate in value. So you deposit, you buy or sell $100 in crypto, Bitcoin or whatever coin you choose, then you get $10 and I get $10, okay? A number of you have capitalized on this opportunity. Once you're on there, I showed you this in a couple of videos. You could learn about this stuff. Look, I haven't done these yet. I've already made like about 30 or 40 bucks off a learning to earn program. The learning to earn program here on Coinbase. So they got Fetch AI, look, $3 a FET, three, three CLVs, Clover Finance, three Graph, you know, three, there's money. You could exchange this for USD at any point in time. You wanna go buy a quarter water or whatever for three bucks? You know what, you treat all your whole people with that, right? And pour a little bit for the people who ain't here and still ball with it, right? And get some purple stuff, <laughs> the purple drink. $3 in amp, $9 in compound. It's like, you know, we're, just, we're looking at this, look, ten. I already earned $10 in Lumen and I earned, you know, money from other learn to earn programs on this platform. That's why it's beautiful just to have this stuff. As a starter, you could, listen, you make, let's say 50, 60 bucks just off of this right here. If you found that on the floor, you wouldn't pick it up? Come on, man. Look, this is an airdrop right now that I don't even know if I qualify for it yet. I don't think so because I had to do something. There was like, there are instructions. You got to read the eligibility requirements. For most of these things, you got to read the eligibility requirements. And the people who are best required to give you assistance, you're always asking for assistance in the comment sections are the administrators of these programs. With crypto stuff, you'll typically, you see right here. Look, use Bright ID, create an account before September 18th. And based off what I've been reading, people are telling me that they're getting 
grants of anywhere from two to three thousand dollars using this technology right here i didn't capitalize on this one myself but i'm just showing you this for the opportunity okay one of the places where you want to go to get grants i discussed this previously rent control offices these are typically government funded agencies they're nonprofits, and they help you i'll just give you a quick example my uncle he went behind on his rent several times and several times the office out in new york city in brooklyn they gave him grants of three to four thousand dollars to pay off back rent okay so call your local rent control office how do you find it i just typed in you know my hood rent control office in queens new york city you go ahead and type in rent control office in nashville tennessee or rent control office in santa monica los angeles or wherever it is you are located you can go ahead and contact look i performed a quick query look what i found right here the new york state homes and community renewal program 30 million dollars affordable housing development complete this is brand new development right here you get look this is 55 people 55 years and older you sign up for this thing community development block grant these are these, these things are funded by grants coming from the federal government so they got to give this money out go ahead and contact your rent control office look housing lotteries you go ahead and apply to live in these brand new homes i'll just give you a quick example this is in north carolina nonetheless my aunt she got a rent controlled apartment brand spanking new one bedroom i want to go see it the other day it's crazy brand spanking new she pays guess what eight hundred dollars for it when you know in this day and age i'm not sure too clear on the rents in north carolina well actually they're a little cheaper than everywhere else nonetheless you try to get something for twenty two hundred dollars in new york city you're only getting like half a toilet seat take a quick look go ahead and hop on it the black the we black to business this is one that i found the other day we black business look eligibility requirements Just to give you an example once you start discovering these things it shows you the requirements right here look to see if you qualify okay a number of these programs they are for businesses that are just starting up give you startup capital you don't they don't have the same requirements as the eidl we had to be in business in 2020 fine your business incubators so if you want to query queens new york you find business incubators in queens new york look what i discovered the tech incubator these places their mission is to train you to get funded, not only through grants, through venture capital, loans, whatever it is that you need, provide the resources so you can ensure that your business succeeds because the government funds these things. And listen, once you become, once you operate a small business, once you are among the 31 million strong small businesses in this country, you become a creator of jobs. Thus, you want more value. You're making a bigger contribution to this economy. No one else is going to save it. Thus, you become more important and you have to get saved. It becomes, you move up the totem pole in terms of priority where the government has to go ahead and listen, we got to keep these small businesses funded because they got 60.6 .6 million people employed just about. You think they want all those people to go on the unemployment? Hell no. Nah. Then what about the self-employment projects? I told you. There are a whopping 25 million, 701,671 non-employer firms, which are businesses that are operated by one person. They're self-employment projects. You think they want 25 million people getting out of work, plus the, you know, including the 60.6 .6 million people? No, they don't want these people out of work. Then they're gonna be on the welfare line begging for cheese and all that. No, they don't want that. So that's why they developed the Paycheck Protection, the Paycheck Protection Program, Economic Injury Disaster Loan, that's why you get so much more help if you build probably the best asset you could build in this country. Let's get to it. Again, once you got that, look, take a look. You need help to, uh, to find grants so you can buy your first home. This HUD page, HUD.gov, you can find on my spreadsheet, on the Individuals tab. I list this stuff. All these resources are here, all right? A number of you always asking, how do I operate the spreadsheet? Right here. They're all right here. Look, HUD. It's right here down payment grant resources for individuals right you go ahead and take a look right here they have all the resources how to contact your local contact your local government for help hud approved housing counseling they you take classes and they give you like grants just to take the class if you are a victim of domestic violence look the justice department is funded to help people i know people i know women and men who have suffered from domestic violence and they go ahead and reach out to agencies, local agencies, you know, your 311 or whatever centralized 
unit that you have in your local government to deal with people who are victims of domestic violence, for instance, or you're in danger for any other case, for something that's criminal. You go ahead and reach out to these people, they give you the funds to go ahead and move on with your life, to go ahead and find a place to sleep, find food, it's all right here. You can contact these places, the Office of Small Business Development Centers. I listed this on the Small Business Resource tab. You wanna find Small Business Development Centers, okay? I am a certified teacher with the New York City Department of Small Business Services. I have taught classes on internet marketing, on how to build your website properly, to, do, to perform search engine optimization, in other words, the practice of you ensuring that your website develops or rather welcomes more people from the search engine. So if you're selling popsicles or you're selling uh, CBD infused drinks, CBD infused drinks near me. Okay. So these people, they have all kinds of resources for you to go ahead and learn how to get grants for your business, how to learn how to market your business. Remember the most important thing is to sell something. Okay. Score does the same thing. I was actually on track to become a mentor. I just not have had the time. I had practically passed all the the tests and the courses, but I've had to, there's like one more technical step that I have to perform. I just haven't had the time to go and do so. But these places, they can't sell you anything, the mentors. That's one of the things they told me that I had to agree to, that I couldn't sell anything to anybody. I couldn't pitch anybody. So I have to offer my guidance free of charge. You can go ahead and visit your local score office, right? If you want to find your local small business administration office, a number of you have suffered, they're going through problems with your economic injury disaster loan application. You can go ahead and find your local office. They have connections at the headquarters. The EIDL, the Small Business Administration, has also announced that in addition to help ensure our smallest businesses can access this crucial capital, we created a one month exclusive window for businesses requesting 500 grand. During this time, approvals and disbursements will focus 100% on loans, $500,000 or less until October 8th upon which approvals and disbursement will be opened up to all loan sizes. Hit the sba.gov site. Just go ahead and type your zip code, click search, and you'll see the results right here. All the results in the 114 area, the Metro New York office, Small Business Development Center, Queen's Score, they, they give you resources to other places which are similar to SCORE and the SBDCs. And on the Small Business Resource tab, I have all that for you. Go ahead and visit. Find your economic development center. Remember, with all of these, just go ahead and replace this part right here. This is Queens, this is my hood, but let's say you're looking for Nashville, Tennessee. Boom, right here. You got, look, the T TSBDC Nashville Center. Go ahead and call these people up. Don't be scared to speak to them. Feel free to write down what you want to say before you speak to them and ask them, listen, I'm starting a small business. This is what we're planning to do. Here are our ideas with the incubator. I told you about the incubator, right? If you take a look at the incubator part right here, this business incubator, these things are mostly about ideas. So if you have a innovative yet technically risky idea, first off, you want to go for that grant that I've been telling you about time and time again, the American Seed Fund powered by the National Science Foundation, helping entrepreneurs transform their innovative yet technically risky ideas into marketable products and services for over 40 years. They provide up to $2 million in seed funding. Now, when I hit these business incubators, they want innovative ideas as well. You've got innovative ideas. Go ahead and hit them. They'll train you how to get, they'll probably even give you office space. I know a number of my friends who've had their businesses. They go ahead and use their office space to go ahead and, and perform their stuff. And I've done it with clients. I know clients that, that have done it. Look in Queens, this is a, is this an economic, this is a small business development center. Okay. So the career one stop, right? First off, this is a, a small business development center in Queens, right here in New York, small business. Again, just replace the query with your location and you will find the place. Look, TSBDC Nashville center right here. Look, coronavirus info search for training with a development. Now, let me give you a quick tip real quick. Okay. This is a, a power user play right here. Let's say you want to do this may or may not work. Let's try it. We'll try it in real time right here. Just click grants, right? Scan. There are no Obama stimulus checks or grants. Supplemental employee grant. So you perform site plus the domain name of whatever website that you're looking for. If it's an SPD and just type the word grant or grants, right? And they'll tell you all the pages that has information on grants in the event you can't find it. You want to find stuff that's more recent. Just go ahead. Instead of any time, just put past month, right? Nothing there. So you got to go to like past year or whatever. D 
These are just a couple of power queries that you could perform when you want to query a website, when you want to search a website. Look, there, it has information on the restaurant, restaurant revitalization fund. If you call these people up, write down what you want to say if you're scared in Queens, right? Okay, now this is just examples. Not because a number of you are not, not going to say, ah, but I'm not in Queens, but you only show me Queens. Just go ahead and replace the query with your location. You got to put the grind in if you want to get this paper. Career One Stop Center. This is a place where I help the number of people who are veterans. I help people now, and they also help me. They actually, I didn't know how to use a spreadsheet very well. The reason that I could use a spreadsheet and list all those resources the way I list them, well, that's the simple part, but you know, performing calculations. I took bookkeeping classes at these Career One Stop Centers, and that's stuff that I used in my profession, you know, proving my case proving that there was a positive return on investment on my ideas when I was in Nielsen, when I worked for the luxury charter industry. Look, right here, look. They've got workforce development board finders and career one stop. They helped me get my training grant. If you're watching my videos, you know about my training grant was $4,000 for me to get my CDL, my commercial driver's license. Because I know how to drive those trucks, those 13 footers, those 56 footers. I forgot the exact amount, like 56 feet back, 13 feet high. Don't be surprised if I got Smokey the Monkey hanging, dangling from my neck. It's BJ and the Bear, fool. And I'm tooting the horn, telling you about grants for everyone on one of these videos. Anyway, Career One Stop, they got training for you to install cable, all kinds of stuff. Look, federal authorities you can trust. They give you all kinds of, you ask these people. Now, I told you about several times in the past. When I applied for an increase an increase for my economic injury disaster loan. The Small Business Administration did not get back to me right away. After some time, I went ahead and said, these guys aren't getting back to me. Let me go ahead and contact my local representatives, right? So just hit the 1141 and look, I could find my senators. Charles Chuck Schumer, Kirsten Gillen, none of them got back to me except for Hakeem Jeffries. And once he contacted the Small Business Administration, they got back to me right away, okay? so. When all else fails, go ahead and contact these people. It is their job to help you. And they also have information on grants available for businesses, whether you start them now or in 2020. They'll give you all the information. You gotta like sign over a privacy release form if you want them to contact the Small Business Administration or any federal agency on your behalf. Disaster assistance. If you are weathering the remnants of Hurricane Ida or any other natural disaster, wildfires in California, et cetera, right here. I went ahead and filed an application for my uncle for because he his uh, basement got flooded after Hurricane Ida. We went ahead and called these people and they went ahead and applied for assistance. I think he's getting evaluated now. Call your utility company if you're behind on your utility payments. Look, I just took a look at Con Ed over in New York. Payment plans and assistance, get help. Especially with the pandemic. I am hearing story. There are utilities that the utility companies that they'll work with nonprofits, nonprofits, again, grant funded, right? Through the federal government and other resources to go ahead and dish out money to people who need help with their utilities. They'll give you money so you could pay your back utilities, right? So you could pay the, your overdue, your past due charges on your water bill, on your gas bill, whatever. Go ahead and look for it in your area. Of course, not Con Edison if you're not, I know everybody doesn't live in New York, but look, for 55 years and older, look, if you're 62, you can get quarterly help paying your bill. You get a government assistance, hit benefits.gov. Right here, you'll find benefit finders for anything. If it's disaster relief, healthcare, medical system, financial assistance, loans, it's all listed, but you got to hustle. And again, I list these resources on my spreadsheet that you could find at bit.ly slash biz ss. Just like I told you, like crypto. If you go to bit.ly slash rod base, you can go ahead. You get $10, I get 10 bucks right there, right? Small business resources for individuals, the HUD program. They had a number of these are crossed out because they're not in existence anymore. Nonetheless, look. All these things, these are government agencies. I mean, or fund or government funded agencies, 311 cities, 211, 211, where they provide all kinds of information so you can find resources, funding, the California stimulus payment criteria, all right here. Education where you could pay it, rental assistance, mortgage aid, okay? You keep going, it keeps going and going like the Energizer Bunny. I whoop his butt, right? Case studies on how a company such as Bad VR, they got the American Seed Fund. Capital, all these places we can get venture capital. You can go ahead and contact these people, see how you can design and structure your pitch. 
credit. You know, th these are some resources that I found on credit. You know, how to boost up your credit, disaster relief. Now, back to the states. All this is in development nonetheless. Again, as I told you before, one of the best ways for you to qualify for the most assistance, for the most support, develop a small business. The Bible reads that he who has will have more. So go ahead, develop your small business. With a little over 100 bucks, you could formalize it. Otherwise, just sell something. Once you do that, you start depositing it into a business account because a number of these programs, they will request financial records. What are your deposits like? And let's say if you're applying for funding, you can go ahead. If you are a veteran, you can get a non-fee bank account over at Chase. The money orders are for free. The cashier's checks are for free. Everything's for free, okay? You deposit whatever amount of money. I got a veteran. I, I served in the Navy and I've got a, a veteran bank account, a military bank account over at Chase. So veterans can go do that. I knew a dude that was homeless, he had one veteran over at Chase. You get, it for, you get all your processing done for free. Wells Fargo is another opportunity. I also have an account there. Don't go hunting for, for my paper in there, please. Anyway, all you have to keep. So to keep it non-fee is $500, unheard of. Typically other bank accounts, other banks, Financial institutions, they want $1,500 or two, three $3,000 to ensure that they don't charge you a fee. As a matter of fact, that's what Chase charges, I think like two grand, only $500 just keep in there and they're not gonna charge you a fee. So you can keep that business account, ideally in the name of your limited liability company or your corp. This is not financial advice, simply what I am doing. And you start to develop your paper trail, your paperwork that you could show. Listen, I got grants, I mean, excuse me, I've got Revenue that I'm generating, selling my used items on eBay and Macari, or I'm selling packages. Okay, I'm selling, look, just talking about packages itself, because this is one of the key things that you have to do if you want to operate a successful small business. You got to hire people, right? Fiverr is a place, but before that, look, Zen business. Let's say you want to, there's certain types of, ideally, you always want to incorporate your business in the state where you live, because you know the area and all that, but there's benefits, for instance, to file your. LLC in a state such as Delaware, right? And they provide the address for you in order for you to do that right here. This is how much they cost. As little as 49 bucks billed annually. They've got an address for you where you can receive court papers or any other official documentation that you need to be able to receive through the mail in the state where you want to go ahead and file. There's also benefits. I even have a link for you right here on the LLC tab where it reads, let me see if I have it right here. Get a Dunn's number. Rocket, look, starting a small business. That, those are actually documents because you had to need like operating agreement. It's all stuff you could learn. This is not building the elevator from here to the moon, okay? LLC, right here, look. This, this article right here on the small business resources, which state should you file your LLC? All kinds. They tell you about the Chancery Court out in Delaware, how they're, they're experienced in dealing with it. That's why these businesses, they, they file their corporate. They got to read all this stuff. All right, and make your own decisions informed. Again, not financial advice, simply what I am doing. Zen Business, they'll facilitate the process for you. If you know someone in the state where you wanna go ahead and file, go ahead and feel free to do so. Again, I got the Department of State tab, you can find everything. Again, you wanna find grants for businesses. You people always asking me, you know, my people, our people, we are always asking each other for help, right? And there's some people, you know, they're spent. If you see me telling you to go ahead and contact me through WhatsApp, and Telegram, it's not me. These are impersonators. Do not listen to these people. Now, you want some real help? I mean, you gotta learn how to work this yourself. I don't have the time to, you know, to assist every single one of you because, you know, there are thousands, hundreds of thousands of people. You know, at this point, millions of people will watch my videos, all right? So, there's not enough time for me to reach out. And I have, that's not my, my business is internet marketing, right? And dropping videos. As a matter of fact, you wanna drop videos, you wanna be in my position? I mean, I'm just spitting this out as it goes. You could hit the free education tab. Look, you wanna sit on this chair and do this from your home? I'm in shorts right now. I got my black girls code where I, where I volunteered to help today's youth become tomorrow's computer scientists and technology professionals. Right here, look, Creator Academy, YouTube. You can learn how to launch your own YouTube channel. Once you got a thousand subscribers and you've generated or you've gathered, what is it, 4,000 hours of watch time, you qualify to go ahead and receive revenue. Look, so you want help. To, for grants, for businesses, right here. I'll research grants for you, for your 501c3 startup or small business, starting at 25 bucks, you know, $30. Set milestones for people. That's the biggest lesson. That's the best lesson that I have taken from 
hiring people, it's set milestones for people, all right? By when can you have this part of the project done? Okay, you could have it done by October 1st, bang. By October 1st, have this part. And if they're not delivering by the deadline, then you could say, what happened? We agreed to October 1st. I asked you, when was it comfortable for you to go ahead and deliver that, okay? And then you start to determine whether this person is someone with whom you want to continue. So let's say it's a $500 job. You can break it down into they give me 25% of the work at $100 by October 5th, 25% of the, percent of the work by October 15th. And then I give them the next $100, understand $100 after the first milestone. Upwork actually has a good system for you to go ahead and develop that. Anyway, you have to learn, if you want to operate a small business successfully, you definitely want to learn how to hire people and have them do the legwork. Because you can't do everything by yourself. And the best way is to have a team, just like the government does it. Look, I will do your grant and business writing as an expert in Australia. I will write and design sponsorship grant and they'll help you find this stuff. You hit a website such as upwork.com and you can go ahead and find people anywhere across the planet that will perform the legwork that you need to have performed, that you need to have completed so you can operate a successful small business so you can help save and feed your employees, families, your families to ultimately save this country. May God bless you. May God bless the United States of America and everybody else on this planet. Talk soon.